To artists and art lovers, he was both a gifted innovator and a publicity hound. That was the view of Salvador Dali, the last of the great surrealist painters who died of heart failure today in Spain. He was 84. His paintings were frequently shocking and macabre, and for him, flamboyance was a way of life. David Browning reports. From the 1920s onward, he pioneered the idea of art as public performance. Painter, comedian, and provocateur all rolled up into one. In that sense, he was the artistic godfather to everyone from Andy Warhol to the Beatles to Pee Wee Herman. All of which sometimes obscured the fact that Salvador Dali created some astonishing paintings. He first put brush to canvas when he was nine and began painting the landscapes of his native Spain. A self-portrait at age 19. And during his heyday, the surreal canvases that made him famous, the strange and irrational dreamscapes, fantasies, nightmares. He was wanting to paint a three-dimensional dream in color. I mean, for example, uh, when you think of the soft watches, anybody who has seen the soft watches for one second will never forget that. And though the serious art world turned up its nose at Dali's works long ago, he cried all the way to the bank. Dali prints flooded art markets around the world. Dali painted his wife, Dala, time and again, working her, and sometimes himself, into grand religious campuses. Together, they held court in a kind of surreal vaudeville show. And when Gala died in 1982, a lonely Salvador Dali retired to his home in Spain to await his own death. In the end, he left hundreds of paintings, outrageous sculptures, and a saying he liked, happy is he who causes scandal. By that measure, Salvador Dali died a very happy man indeed. David Browning, CBS News, Los Angeles. I'm Lloyd Robertson for CTV News. Good night.